Hello everybody and welcome back to Foundation. My name is Twisted and today we're gonna be expanding our village even more so it, if you remember last time we started building this church over here we built the bakery and the entire market which does look lovely I do like it quite a lot and also we are upgrading a bunch of homes now the thing is people are really busy upgrading all our homes right now we have so many happy people that is just wonderfully lovely and I love it so much it's it's beautiful the thing is Right now, it's taking a while to upgrade all these homes, because if you like, click on them, you can see, okay, you're missing planks, you're missing planks, you're missing planks, you're missing planks, you're missing planks. There, there's a certain pattern here, if you pay close attention. Everyone is missing planks. Well, okay, Twisted, that sounds easy enough to fix, just build uh, more sawmills, that's easy enough, right? Well, not really. Because if you go over here, we, this is our sawmill, right? You go over here. We're making planks right now, but you only have one. We have zero wood in storage at the moment. So the thing is, we are missing wood. And to solve that problem, if you remember, if you were here for the last video, we did build a brand new camp over here. It's our new woodcutter's camp. We have three people assigned to it. It will take them quite a while. They actually did we build two. They built another camp over here somewhere. In this area. I Actually, it's again, it, it has been a few days. I do have to admit, it's been about a week since I last played. Okay, we're getting new homes over here as well. This is our new, this is our brand new district, if you will. It's gonna look lovelier by the day, I feel, as these things get a little bit adjusted. So that's good, I guess. Uh, church is getting built. Uh, hopefully, like, the, the thing right now is people actually go to this church on the hill, which is great and all, but it's very far away. And I think this is like a big, fancy church for fancy people. But you also want a little uh, lowly, lowly church for the peasants, right? They do have to have their own lowly wooden colorful church that is what we're doing right now so we're gonna chop down all these trees over here this is the camp that's in charge of doing exactly that we also have some trees to be chopped on the path here but i think we actually are mostly done with it we are just want to just leave this path a little bit i do want to leave the forest here but that is the plan that we're doing right now but also maybe like want to get these things out of the way like these trees over here that actually might not be the worst idea ever i don't know if i actually did that before then I just changed my mind, but let's actually go and get... Uh... Oh, right, for forestation. We did that as well, right, right, right. So we are reforesting this entire area. Well, we will be reforesting as soon as we build the... The forest... The forester building? I think it's called the forester building. That does make sense. So let's uh, just uh, mark this for extraction. Also, we can change the size by control scrolling. Very useful skill. Very, very good to know. Just like get, like, these trees over here. I think that's more than enough for our extraction plans again um right now we do have two new people i did see two new people arrive so i just want to look at them what i want them to do is the question here so we are missing planks actually we have 10 wood now that's actually lovely so if we could have people carrying stuff you are accept accepting everything you should be accepting everything right you have wood over here accepting wood so where were these people where's hans He's on a transporting mandate. That's such a weird sentence. He's at, he's at church. He, he was at church. What about you? You are gonna go get some bread, right? But they are carrying stuff from our camps over here, right? If you look at Carla, can we see what she has in the inventory? We cannot. But if you look at the camp over here, we have two wood in here. So ideally, are these guys gonna carry stuff? They are just lumberjacks. They're gonna carry stuff. You're all just lumberjacks. So I think I actually want to get more transporters. But I can't actually do that. Wait, where did this come from? Oh, yeah, there was a tree over here, right? We don't want to remove that over time. So, we might want to get one more stockpile. That might not be the worst idea to have, like, even more workers just carrying stuff to the middle of our city and then carrying them around. Because we will solve the wood problem relatively soon. Right? And we can't have more people over here. Maybe we just want to get more builders. Because I actually, let's take a peek. Let's take a look at what the builders are doing right now. How many builders do we have right now? What are you doing? Look at fill your needs. All right, you will fill those very soon, hopefully. Uh, fetch some resource. Okay, so you're going to be fetching the stuff and building it. So I think they we could afford to have more builders, right? Fill my needs, fill your needs, fill your needs. You're all filling your needs. What are your needs? You need bread and you need clothing. Oh, I want clothing. All right. I, actually, they, they advance even more, right? They want clothing now? That's actually kind of an issue. It's gonna make him unhappy over time. We do want to fix that. Alright, so let's just leave these two people, uh, like, without a job. We are building so many things. Actually, no. Let's make them into builders. We, we do want to build things as soon as possible, because we can't actually assign them to be, like, farmers or herders. 
Um, again, I don't know what's up with this. Do they actually are not able to build anything? I'm actually not, not certain what this means. Alright, so yeah, we're basically missing planks everywhere. Um, we could get another sawmill. Might not be the worst idea. Let's... But again, the thing is, all buildings require uh, them to be built, and they all most require planks and wood. If you can have a building that requires only stone, that would be wonderful. Let's actually get... Uh, take a look at these. So, want a weaver hut, of course. want a sheep farm. We need wood. We need tools, which we do have, and we need stone. We have stone in, in the stockpile. People joining village, that's actually awesome. Yeah, because I do want to get a sheep farm going, right? How big is that? Do we actually designate the zone for sheep? I have no clue, to be perfectly frank with you. Do we have more money, enough money to buy like a new area? Because I kind of... So this is our forest singer, this is our like lord area. This is our wood camp area, like the access to our city. I'm kind of tempted to even just buy more, more stuff on, on it, buy more territory. Okay, it's actually fairly cheap. We can, like we have enough so much money, it's no need to worry about that at all. So let's uh, make sure we don't buy any more that we need. We can also build walls if we want to. Uh, they are adding new walls in an update that actually might be coming out later this week, maybe early next week. I have no idea when it's gonna actually be out, but I'll, I'll be playing it for sure. They're adding some cool new content, which I do want to check out. Yeah, so we have this new area over here. We could, like, make the farm even, like, in a different area, but I don't want to do that. The idea is we're going to have, like, this be a bunch of fields. And let's get... Let's get a farm in the forest. That makes no sense. And it's going to be so far away. Let's actually get the farm, like, over here-ish, right? So I don't know if we have to listen to sheep area separately. Or how it actually works. I have no clue. Let's figure it out, is the thing. So we also are missing bread, that's actually quite a big issue. The bread is... we have like... In, not nearly enough. We are building another mill. Again, missing planks. Yeah, it's it's only... it's basically just missing planks. Let's go up to speed 5. Because we just have to... basically we have to wait... for our lumberjacks to harvest more wood. To just upgrade all the buildings, that's the thing. Because they all... as soon as we built the... the bread farm, they all filled their bread needs and they all, all evolved their homes. And it's also getting fixed in the next update, they will be adding like uh, limits on how many people you can have in which role at a certain time, so you can actually slow down the process, because th when this happens, it's actually just like everyone's trying to upgrade the house. I could have just like unticked these uh, things, which I should have done, but I had to like take them one by one, and it would just uh, cause me a lot of problems, because I would just forget, probably. I could do it for these homes, because they're all getting upgraded, huh? Yeah, you also require things, is the thing. Can I, like, just untick this? I don't know, but it's already been authorized, right? I don't know, I think the best course of action is just uh, let things happen. Upgrade in the home, that's lovely. We could build another sawmill. It might not be the worst idea. What we could do, we could just build another sawmill, like, over here next to this camp. Because uh, it might not be an awful idea to have a sawmill outside town. It's gonna be chopping down all these trees. I do also want to build a sawmill over here, because we'll be reforesting this entire area, like, non-stop. So having a sawmill right there is going to be amazing. Also, going to have to have a wood chopper. A lot of things that we require. I, I guess you have to, like, cycle your areas manually for reforestation. Maybe you could have, actually, both uh, on reforestation and chopping. That would be kind of cool. I should probably just quickly check that. Can we have them both on extraction? And we totally can have both, right? That's actually awesome. Which means you can just, like, paint this for extraction and paint it for reforestation. They're going to just be... Basically chopping and planting, chopping and planting forever. And that's going to be lovely. Our town is looking lovely as well. I do actually want to just buy this area just to make it look a bit nice to have a little bit of a better shape to it. Because right now it's just like literally missing this block over here. Right, yeah, it's actually missing that. It's it's fine, it's no big deal. Yeah, but we are just more or less waiting. Oh, they are getting upgraded. Okay, most of our homes have been upgraded. That is wonderful. We have a lot of wood now, so I think the biggest bottleneck at this current moment is not having enough plank makers. So what I'm gonna do, since this is our reforestation area over here, I will just build another sawmill over here, right? Yeah. 
It does cost me resources, of course. But uh, we do need one of these bad boys. So let's just get, like, place it over here. It's gonna be a little wood production area. Oh, farm is done as well? Really? That was actually super quick. Let's actually slow down. Slow your roll, Twisted. Right, so we have... This is still not done. Still waiting for planks. I kind of want to prioritize... Oh, you're already building it already, huh? I guess it's because you have... Getting 12 planks already in there? That's actually nuts. Okay, just prioritize this one. Because I want to get more people on that duty. And do more cool things. We are extracting things left and right here. That's actually lovely. Alright, let's take a look at this. How does this work? Spawn sheep. Oh. You have as many as I want. Oh god, what am I doing? What have I done? That smell! Okay, uh, yeah, it, the, <laughs> I'm gonna just remove them all. I guess like, at the current moment you can just spawn as, as many as you want. That's <laughs> that's good. Okay, let's assign a person. Uh, let's spawn like five sheep. Yeah, I'm not gonna abuse that. Don't worry. I'll. I'll <laughs> that's kind of funny. And yeah, we have our sheep farm now. That is quite lovely. So that's gonna fulfill. Again, we have to make it into clothing first gonna happen though. These people like build such weird homes here. <gasps> no resource in zone extraction. What? Who are we talking about? Oh, over here, I guess, huh? Yeah, um... Well, let's just... Remove this entire zone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chill. What are you... Oh, it's also this zone. No? This? No, it's all, like, full. We have stones, right? We have stones. Okay, I guess it was just, like, this one. They were trying to do something, there was nothing in there. Oh, they're getting big and fluffy! Have fluffy sheep! That is awesome. I love them. So cute. Where's our guy, Jacob? Jacob? What you doing, my friend? And to fill your needs, I'm gonna buy some berries. That's okay. Oh, we are super low on berries. Why, though? Do we have, like, everyone... Did we assign more berry farmers over here? We do have all of them. Homes are getting built left and right, which is always great. Are you building the, the church now? You are bringing in the plank. That's actually lovely, finally. Uh, Lord Manor. We're also gonna build some more homes over here. So the Lord Manor is gonna be our royalty district, if you will. And it's gonna look fairly, fairly nifty. Fairly, fairly cool. I just wanna, like, harvest all of these things as soon as possible. Again, it's gonna be our big market. Like, this entire thing... Is more or less gonna be our market. The only things we can sell right now... Well, that's actually not right. We can also sell, uh... Floating, right? Zero in stock. Why are we so bad with berries? Why do we only have six at the moment? We have a lot of stones. I mean, that's always great, right? But it's still, like, not ideal. Um... So let's actually mess around with this stock a little bit. Can we... We have accepting maximum empty stock, refusing accepting. Okay, don't, don't accept this, please, and accept... No, I don't, don't refuse the wheat. What are you talking about? Accept all the wheat. Yeah, accept everything, please. I love if there's like a maximum amount. Actually, maybe it tells me over here when I build it. Mm, it doesn't say anything. I guess I can build more, but I don't know if there's a reason for that. Alright, so we are... We, we could do... We are obviously low on berries. Again, people do love their berries. They also want their bread, of course, but uh, we need to mill for that first. That's gonna be our next thing that we build. I do want to build the sawmill. I'm gonna build it for more wood. And I might as well prioritize both of these, because I think the sawmill is important as well. We have a lot of uh, idle people. I am aware of that. But... Do we have four idle people? We have five. That's a lot of peeps. Okay, one of you can be a builder, right? Then it just, like, gets glitchy. Because they have nothing to do, because there's not enough materials going on. Which is kind of weird. Okay, how are we doing with wool? We have one wool. I have no idea how this works. I'm guessing you just wait for them and then shear them. I could make a fence. I should probably make a fence, right? I'm guessing they can't go around fences, huh? I'm gonna make a fence here. Yeah. 
make a lovely fence over here. Okay, not not a perfect fence. Of course, it's a little bit iffy and whatnot. But we can make it here. They cannot go through the fence, right? Yeah, I think they cannot, which is actually great. We can just enclose this like massive area over here. Kinda wanna take out the trees though. I actually mean, just take them out by placing this, right? Yeah, okay, that's actually fine. They're gonna get look a little bit weird. And I do wanna chop down these trees because I just don't like them. Can I just remove the fence once I place them? Because if I can, I can just place the fences for the trees. Uh, it looks so great. Again, such a massive sheep farm. Hmm. Let's like turn it over here, actually. Over here, and we can just have another thing that goes like over here in the house, right? That looks okay. That's a lovely sheep, and of course they can go outside. And they probably actually will go outside because I. The dumbass that I am, like, built a door right over here, so they're gonna go straight out, which is kind of silly. But I think it's gonna work. Built the saw... Okay, we built the saw, I mean, awesome. Let's assign two peeps over here. And we go, please, guys, make me some planks. We need those real bad. Our city's in trouble. Okay, you move the zones. That, this city looks so nice now. People are joining left and right. People are so happy. They're not unhappy because they, they can't find berries and bread. Yeah, that's... That's a clear sign to me that we need to get some berries going. Alright, so let's get a little extraction zone over here. And get a nice little berry camp, honestly. Again, I think we should just keep building buildings left and right. It'll be fine. I could buy berries. Which is not the worst idea. Again, this is very cheap. So over here. I could buy berries. Yeah, that's not, not the worst idea. Uh, if we go over to our trade menu. It's only two gold. I have so much money. Oh no, you're buying it. My mistake. You're selling coal and iron, but we have no use for that. Do you have do you sell everything? Just this. Can, can I like try? I want to buy these. I don't. I think anything's gonna happen because there's like no price for them. We need to have twenty bread to unlock. We'll, we'll get there. Marble again, not used for anything. I think. Right now, you're buying stone. I could sell in some stone. I have actually a lot of stone, but I don't need the money. I could actually just buy. Let's buy 10 bread. Let's buy like 5 tools. Yeah, because again, might as well do some trading. And we have a lot of stones, so let's... Uh, can we shift click? We cannot. I mean, we can, but it doesn't do anything. So let's actually sell 15 stones, because we are getting a lot of stones. They will buy those. Yeah, okay, they will. Again, I don't think I can, sell ba I can buy berries, but I can sure try. So, how is this coming along? This is looking great. They are building stuff left and right, which is lovely. I could get a stockpile just for these things. Okay, we have three wool. All right. Let's do some things over here. So, we want to build the clo We were hot, right? It's only 20 wood. We almost have enough for that. But again, I think I want to wait on that. Because we have so many unfinished buildings. Our guys are just a little bit too busy at the moment. They also do want to upgrade their homes as well. So we definitely want to just relax, chill out, wait a little bit. Slow slow your roll. Get some more buildings done. Get the forester finished. It's actually almost done. It's actually lovely. Get the forester finished. And then we can have things going non-stop. That is actually the plan. So ideally we'll have... I actually built this really close, didn't even realize this was that close. Ideally we can have, um... Like, multiple sawmills over here on the forester area. It might work quite well. I love these little sawmills, man. Looks so, so, so nice. Of course, assign someone. Make sure we have everyone assigned at every building. I don't wanna... Forget about that. Okay, flower is getting made. Honestly, we have so much wheat. Fill your needs. What are you trying to fill? You have all the needs ever. I'm go making some wheat. I think we need more more mills, to be perfectly frank. Build a gathering camp. 
That's down there. So definitely, again, barriers are kind of low. Let's assign all the villagers over there. There's going to be a lot of jobs. That's actually, everyone's now doing something. Getting new people, though, so we're going to fill in our jobs fairly soon. Uh, we also might want to do some stone masons. Some stone cutters, because we don't need that much stone. Right now, it's kind of unnecessary. I really wish I built this better. <laughs> I could just, like, bulldoze it. And rotate it. But... It's, it's, it's okay. No, I, I don't mind the sheep going out. It's, it's fine. They can just stay on the road. If they die, they die. It's their own gosh darn fault. All right. So we have a lot of wheat. Have a little bit of a flower. I do want to build more of these. Oh, build a camp. All right. Forester camp. So that's actually amazing. I'm gonna... We have all, most of our buildings built. So if you look at builders fetching resources for money, okay, you, my friend, you're gonna, you're gonna be a... Uh, where is that? I don't know what the master builder does. I, maybe it's like I'm not implemented yet. You're gonna be a forester. Yeah, Lucy. There we go. So you're gonna be a forester from now on. You're gonna reforest the thing. So I'm guessing this just like... He just plants trees. But the thing is, we only have one forester. They'll be relatively slow at planting things. So I don't know if we want to have more. We might want to have more than one forester. That might not be the worst idea I've ever had. All right, building complete church. Oh, we got the church done. Oh, it's so cute. It's a tiny little peasant church. Everyone's going to go here now, right? Because it's so, so closer. Uh, it's actually lovely. We can also edit it if we want to. It's a lovely blue church. Can we see what these look now? We cannot. Uh, I can I can change. Oh, I had the bell tower, so I can't actually change the ding dong. We had more crosses. And more trees. I don't want to add trees. I can add an arc core. I don't want that. Fountains? No, the, this this church doesn't want a fountain. They don't need a fountain right now. It looks so nice. I actually like it quite a lot. It's it's a very very idyllic. Oh, we can have like a park in the back. Right, look lovely. Okay, people are in their homes now. Uh, let's look at our desirability layers over here. So we have fertility. Like it's all basically more or less the same. When there's no trees, it's fertile. We look at residential. So people want to live near the markets, which makes sense. They also want to live here now. Even though there's a stone cutter nearby, they don't mind that that much because there's a there's a church and there's a well and there's everything they need. The market is kind of far away, which of course does suck, but it's not that bad. Also, they want to live near the Lord Manor, so let's actually build some royal homes over there. Let's designate some royal houses over here. It's gonna be like a big, like I like this being a small manor for now, but I do want to expand like in the back over time. But I do kind of want to build some fancy homes in front of it, just uh. Get this. I want to. I don't know how big it has to be. It's like a road over here. Let's just remove all of it. So I, if, if the road's over here, I want you to build, like on this side of the road. Don't build it too big. Again, I don't want too many homes. This is a very special area, guys. It's a little bit hidden. It's a little bit away from day-to-day -day, day life. Gotta keep that in mind. All right, so these are looking nice. I do want to cut down these trees still. That will take us quite a while. And then the plan is to just have... I mean, I could just ha designate this as a housing area already. But the idea is to have, like, homes facing the road here. More or less. That would look quite, quite nice, I feel. People are joining the village. We have anyone who is now idle. We have people who are idle. We do not have anyone who's idle yet, but they will be arriving relatively soon. These are the traders. These are just some random dudes. Where are the people? This road's looking actually kind of lovely. It's gonna take them a while to arrive here, huh? It's perfectly fine. All right. Do we have the other road from our town that leads to the other side still? We do. It's less traveled. But this is a trading road, yeah? Yeah, okay, you're gonna leave. No, trader, no, leave me! I wonder what happens when he goes away. Does he just, like, pop off? Where did he go? 
Where did he go, though? Oh, no. Did he die? Traitor man? I don't see you anywhere. How far can we go here? I actually don't want to go too far because he might just fade away and I might get lost. That would be horrendous, and I don't want that. I want to stay close to our lovely city here. Okay, we are actually uh, making bread now. At a reasonable rate. People do have the ability to buy it. Bears are still the biggest problem. We only have one bread market. Zero in stock. Zero in stock. Zero in stock. So the thing is, we are still lacking in those. Did we have some people here? We did. We do have the transporters. I'm gonna build another... I think that would be like not the worst idea ever. Just build another warehouse over here. More transport and stuff. Okay, trees are getting planted here. So ideally, after like all the trees are gone, we can just get people to hover stuff from over here. Which would look great. And I actually wouldn't mind having a dedicated warehouse just for wood over here. Like make this a food warehouse, make this a wood warehouse. Well, like wood and plank warehouse. That would look, that would be quite, quite nice. But actually, let's build another warehouse over here. So we have one on the edge. I don't want to build them like adjacent. Or do I? I mean, it has like such a big area in front of it. I'm guessing it's like supposed to have things in front of it, but it's not right now. What we could do... We could make it look like a double building. It's still gonna work fine, right? It look like a longer building. We just place it literally in the exact same spot. Should be bizarre. And it would totally work. Alright, let's uh so this is the market area. I feel like I wanna place maybe one over here. Yeah, I think that's an okay place for a home. Looks lovely. Nothing's getting upgraded right now. It actually I think there's maybe one more upgrade level. But we don't have any clothing yet. So our goal right now is to get some clothing. Allow another upgrade layer to work. We have idle people. There's nothing. What do we need most right now? I think bread is important. Flour is important. I think we can dedicate these people. They're not actually building that many things. I'm right? building some homes over here. That looks great. I think we can dedicate them to our clothing factory. That probably is gonna be the best choice that we have right now. Yeah, that actually looks quite, quite nice. I do like that idea quite a bit. So yeah, I'm gonna actually just end this video here. I thank you all very much for watching. Name has been twisted from Honey Games. Now we'll see you next time.